Yeah, and that victim, 85 years old in Pekin. It's the first cold exposure death of the year. And Liz Lape is here now with the below freezing temperatures to end the week with a warning for seniors. Liz? Peoria County Coroner Jamie Harwood says elderly people have the highest risk of developing hypothermia, and it can happen inside or outside. Oh, he says people 65 and older are at greater risk because of thinner skin and trouble regulating their own body temperature. So if you or someone you love is taking certain medications that cause dizziness or are susceptible to falling, be aware of the side effects and look out for uneven or slick surfaces and obstacles in your way. I think it's difficult enough for a regular um, adult to navigate surfaces like that without slipping and falling. Um, it's going to be a higher risk um, because of reaction times um, for an elderly person um, to might not be able to brace themselves from a particular fall or injury. Harwood says developing hypothermia can take a short or long period of time. It depends on the person and their body. He says people can experience fatigue, dizziness, confusion, and slurred speech, and then a loss of consciousness. Once that loss of consciousness has occurred, uh, particularly when you're alone, um, it's, it's severely detrimental um, thereafter. Harwood says using assisted walking devices such as canes or walkers greatly reduces the risk of a fall. And he recommends elderly people concerned about falls have a way to alert emergency responders, like wearing a pressable alert pendant or watch. He advises not going indoors, outdoors in freezing icy conditions if you can, and to get medical attention if you are showing signs of hypothermia.